This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Netflix. Go to netflix.com slash tyt for your free trial membership. Now, I, I got a lot of disagreements with Rand Paul, and... Uh, but when he got elected, I said this from day one. I said, look, there's some potential there because as much as I think he's you know, crazy on some issues and we have total disagreements, on some issues he, he tells it like it is. And, and, there's, and you could have, it's okay to have disagreements as long as you think the guy's an honest actor, right? If he's bought by people, then you're, there's no point in having a debate because he's not being honest, he's not being genuine. But Rand Paul says some things that make you think, okay, look, I don't agree with that. And I, in fact, I think that's, whoa, that's really way out there. But at least he's being genuine about it. Now, perfect case in point, ABC's Jonathan Carl is talking to him. Look at what he's going to say about foreign aid and Israel specifically. Let's watch. Hey, you, you've been hammered for suggesting cutting foreign aid, including aid to Israel, which has really been something that's been sacrosanct up here. Right. Uh, is, that, is that truly your position? Well, the interesting thing is, is that I didn't single out Israel. I said all foreign aid. And the interesting thing, if you look at the last 10 years worth of foreign aid, Israel gets just slightly more than Jordan and Egypt get together. So really, we're funding kind of both sides of races. We sell arms to Saudi Arabia as well. We really, during the Iran-Iraq war from 1980 to 1988, there were F-14s on both sides. You know, we're bombing each other with planes that we paid for on both sides because we got them for the Shah, and then we were supporting uh, Saddam Hussein at the time. I don't think that's a good idea, particularly when we have to borrow the money from China to pay for the weapons. So I, I really think that you have to look at every area, and I'm not singling out Israel. I'm a supporter of Israel. I want to be known as a friend of Israel. But we can't. But not with foreign aid. Well, you can't give money you don't have. We can't just borrow from our kids' future and give it to countries, even if they are our friends. Some people interpret this to mean, oh, you're not a friend of Israel. No, I want to be a friend of Israel. I, I think it's that they're an important ally, but I also think that their per capita income is greater than probably three-fourths of the rest of the world. Should we be giving money to a, a free money or welfare to a rich nation? I don't think so. You think they can handle their own defense? I think they're, I think they're probably 10 years ahead of any neighboring country. I think they, their defense is very significant and I think uh, probably well in advance of any of their potential enemies. Look, here's the thing. You can agree or disagree on whether Israel and Jordan and Egypt should get aid, right? And those are good and important conversations. But those are conversations that don't happen in Washington because you're not allowed to say that we should take away aid from Israel. So, again, I I'm not sure I even agree with that. I get th that there's some value in aid to some of these countries, right? So I'm less against foreign aid than, than Rand Paul is. But you got to give him, score him one for courage, man. I mean, that takes some guts in Washington to say, hey, I'm going to cut all foreign aid, including Israel. That is definitely against the conventional wisdom. And then the second part of it is, again, agree or disagree, the guy shows principle there. He's like, look, I I'm not going to say that I'm going to cut foreign aid to every other country, but I'm still going to give it to Israel. That makes no logical sense, and I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stay on principle. You got to respect that, and so score one for Rand Paul. He earned a little respect there by sticking to his principles on that issue. Get a load of Netflix. They deliver the movie to your house, no late charges, free shipping. You can watch thousands of movies or TV shows straight on your PC or on your television through a gaming console. Netflix.com/tyt free trial membership. You get Netflix all over. You.